My eyes are puffy? guys it's uh i'm gonna be honest it's so good to be here gathered right now to talk about anything besides you know who chantal i need a break from her face right now in a big big way and poof there's a daiquiri dozen video it's a shopping haul i haven't watched it i normally always watch them and i go in and i edit them but because it was a costco haul and normally the kids don't go with her to costco i just Put the little my little mouse thing on the bar you know and i dragged it forward and i just made sure there was no kids in the video there are no kids in the video so i thought why even watch it without you guys we'll go in blind we'll watch it all together now fair warning if there's no kids in the video there's probably going to be a hell of a lot less to piss me off which today is kind of nice ah, i just want to watch an irrational spending uh spendaholic like a shopping a woman with a shopping addiction blow through costco wasting money ah oh, that's the only thing we have to rip on today and i'm looking forward to the little bit of a break now with that said it's so early in the day look at us meeting in the afternoon what is this uh if anything were to happen later on interesting with our girl you know we'll be back I, it's understood yes yes oh hey guys hold on now <clears throat> the chat was frozen. I've just now unfrozen the chat. Oh, she's going to piss me off, Sarah? Well, I hope so. I mean, she always does. A woman wasting money at Costco. I love it. It's just, it's such waste because, okay, going into this video, if you don't have much background on Alicia and the situation at home and stuff, there's always a lot of stuff already at the house. When she goes, this is like weekly Costco trip, you know? Everything that she's going to buy in excess today, they probably already have a shit ton of right now at the house. And if they don't have that exact item, there's something, I mean, so similar and a absolute ton of it. That house is full. Just full. Yeah, this is weekly. This is the weekly part of the weekly. Mm -hmm. The house is so full. So, 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 so full. There's no need. She could take a few weeks off of this, to, totally off of the shopping halls and stuff, and just use up the crap in their own house. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Another thing, it's the week of Christmas, which means the kids are going to be home from school, right, for most of the week. Uh, there's a lot There's a lot of, like, little prepackaged snacks and little bars and stuff, and I get it when you're packing lunch, you know, and the kid's going to school, you kind of need those type of things. But when they're home, did you really need to buy all that prepackaged crap? So it's wasteful, not only financially, but the the just the waste of it all, the garbage, every, you know, packaging, just the over packaging of everything. Infuriating. Ugh. Anyway, uh, T Bell, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here. My favorite in this community. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you saying that. Um, uh oh. 
Azera says, I watched this Costco haul and couldn't stop yelling at my phone. Oh, great. Okay, again, well, I haven't watched it. I figured it would be tame, Alicia shopping, but I mean, there might be some yelling. There's going to be plenty of aggravation, put it that way. Hmm. Uh, Julie, thank you for the super chat. So ready for this, taking the girls on my break. Ooh, enjoy your break, girl. Thanks for spending it with us. That's really nice of you. Appreciate it. Pack the children full of chemicals, not real food. Well, Blondie B, that's kind of the standard in their home, you know? Uh, uh, that's the way Alicia rolls. Just There's very, very rarely home-cooked food. And even when she makes those breakfasts and stuff, y'all have heard my theory. I don't think the kids are really eating that stuff. It's for the content. I mean, they, they can graze over that stuff, but I don't think that's what they're eating. And we know that's not what they're eating for their lunches and stuff. So the, the whole thing is for the content. And I guess you always have to keep that in, in your mind somewhere while watching Alicia, right? Uh, um, hold on. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll start the video and then I have forgotten. I have to email myself a picture. It's the only way I can pull it up on the thing unless she left it up on the channel. Let me just pull up her channel for a second. Her channel. It's their channel. But I always call it her channel because we understand it's her channel. The first comment, let me just see if it's still there or has it been deleted under this video, was about, oh my God, it's still there. Okay, wait, let me pull up this tab for a second. Look at this comment and this comment, I had taken a screenshot of it and I felt this one deeply, deeply. It's like, yeah, th this is exactly part of the big gripe with Alicia. There, the second comment. I would love to see the kids doing acts of service for the holidays. I used to have my twins pick a name at the local mall or bank, and they really enjoyed picking gifts for kids who wouldn't have any. As a retired person who often has to choose between insulin or groceries, food insecurity is real for so many. Merry Christmas, Doherty's, and congrats on the million subs. That comment just, oh, it like hurt me. Um, it's true. You know, I say it all the time when we do the Dacherty Dozen videos. Uh, those kids are just so unnecessarily spoiled in so many ways. We just watched the last one we watched a, a few days ago, the Christmas shopping. It's just, everything is so overdone, so ridiculous. They, they in my opinion, aren't being taught the value of anything. So, how could you maybe turn that around? I think that's a great idea. And like acts of service, acts of kindness, random just giving, you know, it would be really good for them. And it would counterbalance a little bit of this, the just spoiling that goes on all year, you know, but she, she won't do that. Uh, I like the next one too. I would love to see the family giving back to the community, serving in a homeless shelter, donating food slash clothing, volunteering time for charities, doing something in their church. So much money is spent on food, clothes, and all other sorts of things. Again, very well said to whoever left that comment. I'm surprised those are still up. Um, yeah, that... I think that that would be a great lesson for the kids, you know, but she doesn't care because why well, you probably can't film as you're doing charity work. You know, it's just not that she doesn't get that hit that, that like adrenaline rush that the shopping and the filling up the sprinter van gets her. So no, fuck all that noise. We're going to just keep going to Casco. Nava, uh, Navi Ma, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for being here, girl. All right. Let me get this off the screen. Let's get into this video and let's get mad. Yay! I'm such a moron. There's too many tabs now. Oh, hold on. Freaking tabs. everyone it's alicia with the dr d dozen and yesterday i went to costco and did our weekly grocery haul for my family of 14 plus i shopped for um our upcoming 1 million subscriber celebration so this is like a huge costco haul you're about to see for some reason the intro i recorded yesterday in my van didn't record so 
That's why I'm recording this right now. Um, so yeah, come along, shop with me at Costco. This is going to be a big one because we have a big celebration coming up this week. And like, what does that mean? I mean, I, okay. I know what it means. We're celebrating our 1 million subs. Great. Who's celebrating the subs? It's going to be the same people who come over every goddamn celebration. Let's just be real. So the kids, Alusha, Josh, uh, grandma, grandpa, the cousins, uh, the aunt, the non aunt and the husbands of the non aunt and non aunt. And that's going to be it. It's who's always at the house. So why would it be a bigger order than ever? Like it doesn't make sense. It just, this is the same thing as always. It just gives her an excuse or like people will judge her less because, well, guys, we have this big celebration this week. Like every week there's an excuse for a damn celebration in the house. It's, it's the same shop that you do every week. What are you talking about? Let's go. But first, here's my coffee. Coffee. This is my very last sip of coffee. I'm going to need to make more. I'm coming right over to get one of the pallets. Can we go back to the coffee thing just for a second? I'm sorry. I tried to like, maybe it's petty. No, no, no. Aggravated. If you, the film, is, the, 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 the film is gone from in the car. The footage is gone, disappeared. Well, uh, and I'm sure you did that first coffee in the car when you were actually filming. Now it's what later, way later. You're now editing this video to put it up. Oh no, my footage is gone. You really had to reenact the but first coffee thing. No one likes that. No one likes that thing that annoys everybody. You have to know underneath it all that that shit annoys everybody. Why would you go out of your way to put it in a second time? I'll never understand this woman. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know how to say your name. Is it, would it be like boom or BMMB? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I'm old and I don't understand these things. Thank you for the super chat. You're on your vacation. Well, I hope you have a fantastic vacation. Soak up every second of it. Okay, I'm gonna go get the bottled waters first. Okay, I'm gonna get, let's see, how many are in here? 40, how many of these do I need? the plastic you can't even get a straw anymore to save your life you know that they just banned a couple of days ago now no more imports in canada on single-use plastics you can't get a plastic fork around here anymore you can't get shit you none of that stuff and this woman just just look at the amount of water bottles she's gonna buy why not buy a water machine Hmm. Okay. There's a lot of people in that house. I understand a Brita might be unrealistic. You know, they'll be filling that shit up every two seconds, but one of those gigantic water machines, what's the matter with her? Get the water machine, have the water delivery in your house. So much less plastic. Those bottles are recyclable and get every kid. Anyway, don't get a, the kids anything. I'm sure they all have 16 assorted different cups with their names on it. Make them use their friggin' cups. This is so stupid. This is infuriating to me. She got you. You were done. Move it along. No, nope, gotta get some more. Mm. Where does she store all this stuff? In their garage. There's like a. They've made a, like a, a storage spot, like a store in the garage. It's just so nuts. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a water bottle person. I never have water bottles in my house. I don't buy that shit here. You got the pitcher. You're good, you know? Um, and on the rare occasion you're out, you have a water bottle. Whatever. I will refill that shit like three times before I recycle it. 
No, 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 no. I, I'm not for these water bottles. No. Elizabeth, thank you so much for the super chat. Nobody can be this happy naturally. It is really coffee, Alicia. <laughs> is it really coffee, Alicia? Do you know that that used to be, um, uh, what do you call it? Like a conspiracy theory? When she would do her back fast coffee, people were um, accusing her of having white claw in the cup. So that's when she switched to that clear cup. And she only uses that clear cup now because of the conspiracies. I'm also going to get the Poland Spring with the sports top that my kids like. And I like to get these mini ones to put in Bodie's lunches. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. You know what? I won't judge that one. That's a lunchbox buy. Fine. She just got all those waters. Now she's going over to other waters because the kids like the sports top ones. What the fuck is wrong with her? Okay, six cases. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't realize her volume was kind of down. Thanks. Uh, don't fence me in. I think you were the one who said it. Oh, it just flew by on the chat. Yeah, yeah, don't fence me in. Thanks, bro. I didn't realize her volume was down. Should be better now. Cases of the Poland Springs. I've got two cases of the 80 packs of the mini waters and then eight of the 40 packs of the regular waters. No, that is just crazy. I don't care how many people are coming over to your house. Like, no, no, that's too much. That is just wild to me. Just so wasteful. The manager now, let him hear. <laughs> so nobody puts it back and um, get another pallet. Okay, I let them know. Oh, that was heavy. All right, now I'm going back to the back of the store and getting Gatorade. Actually, not that bad here today. Look at she sets up the camera across so we can watch her stacking the Gatorades. Was the first palette just water? Yeah. It was just water. She bought eight times 40 bottles, six times 24 bottles, I believe the smaller ones were. And then the, the mini bottles, two cases for Mounty for his launches. Why two cases? I don't know. are using Gatorades in that house. Maybe five people? Maybe? That's insane. Oh, how, oh. I live in Rochester. I've seen her a few times when I made a Costco run. Oh my God. If I would see this happening out in the wild, I would flip out. I would just follow her around the Costco being like, oh, the plastic. You're insane. Use what you have at home. No, not enough Gatorade. She's getting the other ones too of the Gatorade or whatever the hell that is. Gatorade zero. Okay, I got six of the big ones and six of the little ones. That's so tiny. Okay, Sunny D. 
cancel me. I don't care. I used to drink that shit when I was a kid. Sometimes not like so regularly or anything. It's good. I understand the appeal to kids, but it's not orange juice. You don't keep orange juice on a shelf. You keep orange juice in the fridge. Come and fight me. I don't care. Look at how much goddamn sunny day she buys for her kids. Uh, there's, there's no reason. What do you, what you don't like? Are you, are you trying to be cheap about it? Are you, you know, being economical? No, you blow so much money on so much crap. You can't buy normal orange juice. Sunny D is pure sugar. Yeah. It's just like, I get the appeal when you're a kid. It tastes better than actual orange juice because probably like you're saying, it's just fucking sugar, you know? This is wild. And just look how many she buys. For anyone not keeping track, that was 300 bottles of Sunny D. It's going to be a big party. No, it's going to be a regular fucking party. All your parties are the same people. Stop acting like all these people are coming. Stop it. Alicia, stop. It's going to be the same people. And what are you giving them all 300 fucking Sunny Ds for? Here we are, Kool-Aid jammers. Okay, I like those as an adult. I'm not even going to lie. Those are got like a Capri Sun. I don't know what they... Mm. Every once in a while, just one of those. Ooh, it hits. But I don't. I don't know how many of these she's gonna buy. But I'm sure it'll just be an exaggeration, like everything else. And is there not one thing that's not pure sugar at the party? And don't tell me the Gatorade Zero. And it's some cool jammers while I'm here. Wait, wait, no, they were right next to Capri Sun. Oh, why would you pick Kool Aid jammers over Capri Sun? Capri Sun is way better. What's the matter with her? They were right next to it. Okay, this is full. My teams were supposed to come help me on this trip, but our schedule is insane this week. So trying to like coordinate a time where they could- Ah, Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat. Ironically, so does the Capri Suns. Everything mm -hmm. else, just, I was like, I'm just gonna go. I'll just do it. But they did want to come help me. Okay, I'm gonna leave this up front with cart one. Go get another pallet. No, I, I'm already too angry. Look at just the, I am my two pallets. To her, it's it's almost like a game. You know, like how Christmas shopping had to beat Black Friday shopping, everything it's always about like one upping herself. This too, I feel like this is starting to happen with the shopping too. It's just about filling more pallets than the last time we were there. Buying more every time more. It's 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 her sickness. Here we go. Palette three. Maybe we should just ask the expert. Okay, I asked. It's called a flatbed. Flatbed three. But she's such an idiot. Okay, back to the back of the store oh, again yes. to get paper towels and rosy browns. Yeah, you're right. Little earthquake. I agree with you. It is what brings her the most views. So she is constantly ha like having to outdo herself. Even the way she stacks the things, even, you know what I mean? Everything is about the exaggeration. It's just so dumb. A lot of paper towels. Got some toilet paper.
Now, to be honest, the toilet paper is probably one, the only thing that I have nothing to say about because uh, that's a lot of butts in that house. Just uh, that's a lot of butts. They probably go through that shit. The only thing I could think to say about it is why would you buy it full price? Costco always, you know, like, you know how Costco is every couple of months, one of the toilet papers and stuff, they always go on sale. You got a sprinter van. You love spending money. You have a problem and you also have all those butts in your house. Wouldn't you maybe load up on a time when it's on sale and then not have to buy it when it's not? Costco toilet paper is the worst. I've never tried the Kirkland um, toilet paper, but I've tried those Kirkland paper towels. Those Kirkland paper towels back in the day <laughs> used to be so good. They were like the best paper towels you could buy. They've changed. They fucking suck now. So I'm assuming the toilet paper also sucks. Mm. Just saying. Uh, Wistful Demon, thank you so much for the super sticker. I placed an order for Ziploc baggies and we're good on tissues. We do need cups. Cups. Oh yeah, the days in that house would be pretty, pretty smart. Ooh, that's a really good point. Not only lots of butts, but lots of active butts with all that processed food. Big ones. Look at these Christmasy cups. Okay, I just got my list out. Let's check it out. So first I made the grocery list and then I realized I was just gonna do all my shopping at Costco. So I like started a Costco list too. Um, so I need to see if they have Nevaeh's Celsius drinks. And then I think pastas are on the way back up to go plop this. Notice again, I will say this in every video cause she does the same thing in every video. Have you noticed that we haven't really heard one kid's name? She did say B's name once at the beginning uh, when it came to the water bottles, but it did sort of come out more naturally, if you notice. Notice through the entire video that we've seen so far, she has not mentioned by name one of the kids. When she, for example, got the Gatorades, she didn't say these are for A and these are for, I don't know, J or D, right? Which we know they drink them. We've seen them in the videos drinking them. She didn't mention their names. But N, N, the foster daughter, right, who I will always harp on it because it's a matter of fact that Alicia got a lot of viewers, a lot of subs, I mean, and a lot of more views when N started appearing in the videos. So she has to make a point of saying her name if she's not going to be in the video, but she says her name. It's every time. I mentioned it in the last video we did. I mentioned it in the video before that that we had done. She she does it very much on purpose. And there, she just did it. Slap it up front. We got paper towels. We got toilet paper. Oh, I hate it. My pleasure. You've been AF. Thank you guys so much for being here to watch it. I'll, I'll love raging that a look. Okay. Oh, my God. Something just hit me. Why this video triggers the fuck out of me so bad. And the last time they went to Costco too. It's a combination of not only does this woman piss me off with the spending, but Costco is my top two of places that I hate the most in this planet to go. Costco and Best Buy. Those are my two, right? So the combination of her, the overspending, the over dramatics of it all, and that it's happening at a Costco. Of course it's at a Costco. I hate Costco. Uh, Damn it. BMMB, thank you again for the super chat over 1K and not about foodie beauty. Love that for us. Thanks again, everybody, for being here. Meanwhile, Chantal, two days ago, open chat, couldn't even fucking crack 800 people. That's good. I like that. I'm not trying to be a bitch about it, but it just goes to show. Uh, Chantal's not the center of the universe, and there are other people we could be raging about online. Snacks next. All right, they have Celsius, but not in the flavor she likes. She only likes the peach one. So I'll order that on Amazon. Okay. You need more pasta. 
Uh, let's see. Rotini. I don't know if it's the same prices of stuff. I didn't see the price down it. Let me go back and see if we get a look at the price because Costco here, pasta is so fucking expensive for no reason. It's so stupid. Um, okay. You need more pasta. Yeah, six ninety nine U.S. Dallas. All right, so that's what over ten bucks here. It's four packs of pasta. That's not a, a good deal. Costco is a good deal for some things, and it's a fucking ripoff for a lot of things. You have to always, you know, like at Costco, like the calculate the unit price at Costco. Don't you just get like, oh my god, it's such a big quantity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how much is one? Pasta. Uh, let's see. Rotini, Elvi, Elbows, or Polly. We'll get a few of these. All right, I stocked up okay, on this spaghetti. Seven boxes and the one she picked. It wasn't the four. Okay, that's, I mean, it's more of a deal, but it's still not such a weird deal. Come on. She should be doing this better. Um, Tomato sauces, diced tomatoes, all of that. Last time I was here, so I'm still good on that. Grab some more parm and... Start getting some snacks. All that money and she gets the shaky cheese. I swear to God. I swear to God, man. What is wrong with these people? Okay, let's get some Cheez-Its. And I think I'll get two boxes of Cheez-Its. Pringles. We have a bunch of Pringles. This will be good for our celebration. All right, so how many come in the thing? 36. All right, so we get a lot of these. One, two, three, four, My God, five, enough with the fucking Pringles. Six packs of Pringles. Wow. Wow. Seven. Oh, we're not done. Eight. Seriously, though. It's it's culty, too. Why not a little selection? Why would you get eight things of Pringles? Right next to it, there was, like, other little bags of chips. Why? Oh, of course. I'm so stupid. Silly me, I forget. It's so that when she sets all all of this shit up, she can do one of those panning over it Tic Tacs. God damn it, it's for the TikTok. Silly me. All right, Pirate's Booty. I think I still have popcorners at home. Ah! Elizabeth, I'm with you on that one. Thank you for the super chat. Quite make the trip. One, two. Okay, what what the hell is she buying right now? What is that? Pirate's booty? I've never seen that before in my life. Is it chips? Is it candy? What is it? Is it little gold coins? That's kind of what I picture. You know those little chocolate coins? Like, you give it Hanukkah, for example. It's so amazing. What is it, though? Popcorn. Oh, okay. Huh, who knew? Interesting. Three. Okay, this has become a favorite snack for many of my kids at the moment, and we're going through them really fast. So I'm going to stock up on these too. Oh my God. Oh, that's what I was waiting to see. I was like, show me the box. Show me how many are in there. 64 bars. Yes, guilt. Exactly. 64 bars in one of those boxes. She's buying. This is the fourth one she's getting so far. This is what I was saying. Like, the, maybe the kids like those. Okay, it's individually wrapped. You put them in their lunches and shit, whatever. They're home now. It's it's the week of Christmas. What are you doing, man? What is this for your party too? 
Like, it's just stupid. Okay, I, I agree, things. Gucci Gang Gamer Girl. Those are fucking gross. Our celebration on Christmas Eve. How many is in this? Couches. Okay, so 49. 98. Oh, everything is so much for no reason. Jaden lives down the road from us. He's the kid's best friend, and I promised him I would buy animal crackers for my house. Here's a crazy idea, reckless woman. If you insist on repeating the names of all your kids over and over and over in videos, you know what? They're your kids. How about you don't say the name of you, the, the kid who lives down the street? That's so fucking stupid, man. I just saw them and now I can't find them. Here they are. Okay, let's go leave this up front. All right, put this up front with the other two. She's not done yet. She's getting another pallet. Flat bed four. Look, you see the gleam in her eye, the crazy fucking look and how excited she gets every time she gets another flat bed. Oh my God. And now she knows the word flat bed. Oh, she owns this Costco in her mind. Like, what, what could you have left to buy? Don't want to forget wrapping paper. Um, I got the custom wrapping paper for my kids, but I need wrapping paper for, you know, other people, too. Okay, I feel her on that one. I see two of the packs of wrapping paper that I bought this year. <laughs> As she's panning there, Costco makes the best, best wrapping paper. Best! The Kirkland wrapping paper. It's double-sided. It's thick as all hell. You can't rip it. It's easy to wrap, and everything always comes out looking so good when it's wrapped. Oh, uh, okay. I'm with her on this one. So. Oh. We also ordered gift bags off of Amazon. Yeah, those are the two. Okay, the the I didn't get the first pack that she got the red mix. I got the kiddish looking one, the colorful one, and that green one that she just put down right there. Oh, so cute. And both sides are very cute. All right, that's three, six, nine, twelve. Let's get can I get the green one? Yeah, I got the green one. Okay. So three, six, nine, twelve. Okay. Yeah, forget the tape. Yeah, she really didn't need all that wrapping paper, though, because as she just mentioned, she ordered custom um, wrapping paper with all the kids' names on it to wrap their stuff. So, like, how much more do you have to wrap? You could have bought maybe two of those packs of wrapping paper. That's just, everything has to be an exaggeration with her. What's this? That's amazing. I won't lose it constantly. Oh, this is cute. Is this the only one like this now? It's like she can't yeah. pass anything without buying it. She has a real problem. Oh, the prefect over. Yeah, darn it. I love this size one, but there are only two of them. Oh, these hoodies are really nice. Julie, thank you so much for the super chat. If she's too lazy to make snacks and wants to buy them, why doesn't she go to the good snack aisle? It's crap nutrition and the kids will suffer later. I mean, you're right. She doesn't. She buys them all this crap, and it's it's for the videos. It is what it is. I I don't know. This probably gets her more views than like 
healthy snacks would. I don't know. I think I'm going to get some of these. Okay, I got seven of these really nice hoodies. Um, super soft inside. Love this material. Okay, they have the same in women's, so I'm going to get that too. Okay, I'm going to get some some of these pants too. Uh, black, I think. Remember that she, we, we just went Christmas shopping with her and stuff. She bought so much clothes. We were commenting about like, why buy all that crap? They're just going to be growing out of that fast. You know, no, no, it's not enough. Never enough. She's the anti Mr. Beast. Yeah, that's well said. You're right. Let's see. I made an XO, a large, a medium. I need a couple mediums. Medium. Okay, so I got some hoodies and joggers. Ridiculous. Okay. Um, yeah, we we'll need some more socks. I'm trying to figure out which ones to get. These are also amazing. Oh my gosh, they're like so soft. Okay, got four packs of women's socks. And if you were going to go through the clothing section of Costco and socks and shit, why would you get a flatbed thing? Get a cart. It's so unnecessary for the dramatics of it. And now I'm going to get some men's socks. Let's see. One. Two. Three, four. So, come on, stop it. You don't need all this shit. This is so dumb. Remember that she goes to Costco all the time. Hmm? All the time. They buy so much crap. It's not like she's never gone through the clothing section. All the time. Mm -hmm. And that's a good point. Lando, the house is so fucking cluttered. You see it when she goes to put the kids' clothes in the drawers and stuff. You, uh, you know what I mean? Or anybody opens a drawer. Everything is busting at the seams. Enough with the buying shit. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay, I'm going to go get the bread now. All right, I need a lot of bread. Okay, let's see. How many pieces of bread? Ah, Jack. Fun fact about Frenchie. Frenchie also has a sock addiction because I've said it before. Frenchie hates feet. I hate feet. I hate them so much. They gross me the fuck out. And that's mine included. I just don't like feet. It's disgusting. So I'd much rather see feet in socks. So when you have such a uh, to feet, it kind of forces you over to sock addiction, in my opinion. I've always been so fucking weird about my socks since I've been a kid and stuff. Socks, socks, socks. I'm in a pack. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, I will. Sorry for that weird noise. I don't know what that is. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think each pack can make 19 sandwiches. You would think somebody who does their whole morning routine almost every day, laying out all those slices of Wonder Bread to do the sandwiches, would kind of already have a rough estimate of how many sandwiches you can make with a loaf of bread. The way she's with her weird finger poking at the slices and stuff, it, 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 I don't like it.
Oh my god! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Peace escapes. Thank you so much for the super chat. I don't blame you. It's it gives you eye twitch. It makes you sick in your stomach. I, she's still loading up bread. I'm gonna lose my shit. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I don't, how many people are coming over? You know we're gonna watch that party together. I want to see if there's even one extra person than every other get together they have. What is she buying all this fucking bread for? The kids don't even have school right now. Will they have sandwiches? Yeah, probably, but it's not like a consistent, everyone needs sandwiches all day long. Oh my God, what is this? You'll be back in a few days, Alicia. We know you. Okay, let's see. I want to count this now. Okay, so I got the bread for our 1 million subscriber celebration and for my family for the week. Yeah, hot dog buns. Oh, Accountable Beauty. Hey, thank you for the super chat. Oh my God, our stocking stuffers are just junk in new video. Really? I uh, haven't seen it yet. Something to look forward to. Accountable Beauty sidebar completely. Different topic question. Uh, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. What the fuck happened to Heather's eye? Do you have any idea? I've been searching on the, I can't find it. If you know, please let me know. Or if anyone else does. 16. Is it Jen? Is it Jen? Was it Jen? And she doesn't want to say anything because she doesn't want to get her like more in trouble right now. You know what I mean? Could it be? It's my only thought. Hawaiian rolls and bagels. Why can I never find bagels here? You friggin' asshole. <laughs> Gucci gang gamer girl. Anyone, uh, thank you for the super chat. Anyone sends me feet, it's blocked on site. I swear to God, I don't fuck around when it comes to feet. Don't send me your sock pictures either because I'm just going to picture what's under the socks. I don't want to see that shit. Hide that shit from me. Oh, crepuscular soul. Thank you for the super chat. Why is she stacking the things so loudly? It's the ASMR vibes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Throwing things around, acting like nothing is you know, means a damn thing. It's part of her shtick, as gross as it is. Hey, Auntie M, thank you for the super chat. I feel you on the sock thing. I have over 250 pairs. I love me some socks. Damn, girl, that's a fetish right there. And I, I respect it. I don't have anywhere near that many pairs, but I mean, I respect it. Cover them up. Funkle feet too. No, absolutely nothing wrong with my feet. I got cute feet. I suppose, in the grand scheme of feet. Or maybe just mine make me less sick than everyone else's because they're attached to my body. I don't really know. But I just, I don't care how nice, there's no such thing. First of all, nice and feet don't belong in the same sentence. It's all disgusting. Okay, cover that shit up. That's all. Is that too much to ask for? Julie, thank you for the super chat, girl. Hit like everyone makes chins rage. <laughs> thank you so much, girl. Rebecca, Rebecca, leave. I swear to God. How dare you? I'm not even reading that out loud. You, bleh, I, no, no. Anybody's face came that close to my foot. They would be kicked across the face so fast. Are you, uh, I, I could vomit right now. Thanks. We gotta get nannies. Ah, Accountable Beauty. Thank you again for the super chat and for the info. She didn't say, right. I watched the episode twice. I thought I missed it the first time. <laughs> I got a little distracted. Uh, 
but speculation is Jen did it. That's what I'm thinking too. And that's why she won't say because she doesn't want her to get her in more trouble, right? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna leave this flat bed up here with the rest. For the love yeah. of God, she's going to get another one? Okay, do you oh think I God. can fit the rest in a cart? I'm gonna try. Oh, I can't believe it. I just got goosebumps because she's going back into the store. I hate it so much. Part five. I swear every single person that leaves here is buying one of these giant jumbo squishmallows. We already own one. We don't need any more. They're so cute. Okay, what's the deal with the addiction to those things? I see everybody talks about those things. Is it a thing for kids or do you just like throw them on the ground and kind of lay on them? Because that's the appeal I see, but I don't have kids. Again, I don't know if this is like a kid's thing. What What do you do with those things? Okay, I got to get the produce and the milk. Let's get some tomatoes. Oh, they're for kids. Okay. I love those little tomatoes. She finally made a good pick at the Costco. Those wild wonders, those little ones. I wash them all, dump them all onto a tray, drizzle them with uh, olive oil, salt, and pepper, and I bake them all. And then I make that with pasta. It doesn't need anything else. It's so delicious. I mean, throw on a little garlic, a little onion if you want to, but I mean, like, you don't need to go and make sauce and shit. Just throw those on, it's so good. Oh my gosh, look at these giant apple pies. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, pecan pie. If I get this now and put it in the freezer, will it still be good for Christmas? I have to. Oh my gosh. Getting it. That looks amazing. Who am I getting? I'm eating that for dinner. Bananas. My kids are not in a huge banana phase. They go back and forth. They eat a ton of bananas and they stop eating them completely. And I make banana bread a lot. So Interesting, because this week a few times they've been in the fruit bowl that she pretends like they eat with breakfast. But here she is later in the week letting us know that they're not into bananas. So I don't know, does it kind of confirms what we all think, that they don't really eat the stuff that you lay out for breakfast and it's all for show. And you don't make them eat ve fruits and vegetables. It's fucked up. Come on. Uh, Kilosiraptor? Kilosiraptor. Thank you so much for the super chat. My fiance has chronic back pain and the squishmallows provide amazing support. Oh. Hmm. That sounds comfy, actually. Oh, I am not going to get a ton of bananas today. Here we go. These look good. Two, two at a time right now while they're not going through a ton of them. Because there's only so many loaves of banana bread I could make a week. You don't oh. have to make any, but you have to because of the fucking content. You didn't need to buy any bananas. How about if they're not into bananas, you buy another fucking fruit for the week? I knew they were in a random different spot. Perfect. Ooh, these are like the good fresh ones. Bagels. That's just barely a bagel. That's a slice of bread. The good ones, please. Montreal bagels are the good ones. We're not having that fight here today. Feral chin spanks. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. This control freak probably doesn't eat more than three bites a day. No, you're right. She has to save room. The calories are spent on white claw. So no time for food. Bagels. Bananas. Um, I need more grapes. This is like a little off to the side room where they keep some of the produce. 
candy snap grapes. I'm intrigued. Those look amazing. Of course you're intrigued. You see candy written on an actual fruit. It's how to catch your attention. <laughs> Alicia is the most predictable person alive. Green grapes. Like, ah, these green grapes look okay, but they don't say candy on them, so fuck this. Mm, maybe not. Maybe <laughs> not. Mostly okay, so crispy fries totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that we eat them sooner rather than later. Some strawberries. Taking one of everything in that little room. And let's get some of this melon, fresh cut melon. God, she's so fucking lazy. I'm on that with dinner tonight with the fish. That'll be good. They have the best apples here. Yeah, exactly. Cut your own damn melons. Like her whole content is preparing food and getting meals ready and stuff. Just buy the melons. What is wrong with you? And once we're at it, why not the celery too? You don't need to buy those celery stalks. First of all, you actually don't need to buy any celery stalks. The kids never eat it. You put it on the snack ready boards. They like push past that shit. Let's be real. Seriously, Taco has the best apples. And I mean, Mickey Mouse is on them. I can't go wrong. Ooh, the golden kiwis. We got these last time because you guys told us to, and you were right. They're amazing. Okay, I need some ground meat. Hot guys. Wait, what are we having tomorrow? I gotta look at the menu. I can't even remember. I just remember that I need ground beef. Okay, how much is in here? Six and a half pounds. <sighs> that meat looks so gross. It's too early in the day to see all that raw meat. I don't know. Oof, the way it's like laid out on that thing, it's like poop. Ugh. I don't know. It's just, it's just too early. I have nothing against meat. Not at this hour of the day, though. Ugh. Notice she doesn't get 300 apples or kiwis. Absolutely not. Hmm? She's going to throw out the one pack of each that she bought. Like, <laughs> it's for the video. It's just every time, you know, in the morning when she's like, or uh, no, no, the, the, the shorts that she does, like what my kids ate today, you know, and there's always that stupid bowl of fruit because she's trying to insist because she gets a lot of hate that they never eat fruits and vegetables. It's just for making the bowl for the videos. So I need two of these. All right, I'm gonna grab a few ribeyes for the people who don't want fish tonight. We'll grab these up for them. Exactly. The fruit is just decoration. Two more things here for today, and then I'm gonna check out and call it a day. Um, and reassess and get the rest tomorrow. Taco pasta. That's what we're having tomorrow. Hello. What? 
<laughs> taco pasta? What is that? Don't even explain it. That just sounds so gross. I can imagine what it is. And nah, no thanks. Hi, this is the last one I have, and you can have it. Thank you. These make such wonderful stocky stuff. You just made my day. Yeah. Thank you. That's the last sample. to check out. All right, here is the hall. Let's go. That's really funny. <laughs> Pip squeak. I kind of thought the same thing when she was, you know, when she said that. As a, as an, at, like at my age now, I would pick fish. I love fish. If it's good fish, I want the fish. I would pick it over a steak any day. When I was younger, I couldn't stand fish. There's no fucking way I was picking a fish. If I was smelling steak cooking in the house, are you crazy? She gets one pack of steak. Like, which one of the kids is eating the fish? I tell you who's not eating the fish. N and D, they're definitely getting rib uh, ribeyes. Hmm? I bet she only got the ribeyes because she thought, oh no, what if N and D aren't happy and then they won't be in my TikTok later? Okay, I got all five over here for checkout. That was a task. <laughs> Look at all this. Please begin. Now we're just scanning all the stuff on the flatbed. He lives for this too. Look at she was purposely filming the receipt getting longer and longer, you know? Oh my god, guys, look at all I'm buying, guys. Nine, ten. Almost done. <laughs> I hope you. I hate her laugh so much. That's her influencer laugh. That's the equivalent of Chantal's stupid, like, low BMI voice or something, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So fake, so insincere. And I bet you anything that the cashier just said something and she's like, hold on, I wasn't filming. Can I film? Can you say it again? So it sounds even more insincere the second time. You get a break after that. $2,200 and something dollars for no reason. And I bet you most of that stuff they would have at home, you know, for example, like all those little chip containers and stuff. Okay. Maybe they're not all Pringles, but if they, if they, she pulled out the shit that's in her pantry, they would have had enough snacks for sure for this stupid little party. Okay. Awesome. All right. I got some people helping me load all this out. So that's awesome. I smell coffee. So that's enough to like for two of the Okay, they are gonna let me pull up and load right here. Yeah, it's for one week plus whatever stupid party they're having, but yeah, it's for one week. And it's it's not all the groceries either. You know what I mean? This was like one stop on her grocery list. Here in the front of the store, so that's great. So I don't have to lug these through the parking lot. Okay, now I gotta load it up. Let's start loading in the back of the room. Exactly. It's mostly like drinks and snacks and stupid shit. You know what I mean? Hi. That would be awesome, please. You know. I was talking with the lady at the front entrance. You have yeah. to train the kids, huh? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I get, uh, okay, I just kind of thought of this. You knew you were going to Costco to do that gigantic order. You normally love to exploit your kids on uh, camera and have them on as much as you possibly can. Knowing you were going to buy all this, wouldn't it have been, in this instance, logical to maybe take two of the older teenagers with you to help you? No. In this case, she doesn't exploit any of the kids and exploit, you know what I mean? Take any of the kids with because it would be less dramatic for this scene and stuff. And the the schlepping the carts through the Costco, get, going to get another flatbed one by one, loading everything herself. It's for the dramatics. Oceana song. Hey, girl. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so, so much, girl. Happy holidays. All I know is that life is a beautiful thing. So. Happy dance. I was like, what are you guys getting ready for the apocalypse? <laughs> Every week. <laughs> is, this, is this weekly or monthly? Lately, <laughs> I've been here every week. Oh, boy. Yeah. My nose is running because it's cold out. All right. Yes, I tipped him for helping me. I don't know if you're allowed to tip the workers at Costco, but I did. Because it just saves me like half of my time. And you know what? He had a smile on his face the entire time. I appreciate people like that. They just spread joy for the sake of spreading joy. It is 6.30. So that took me three hours. Well, I think I left my house at 3.30. So total from when I left my house till I get home, probably like three and a half hours. That's like hell on earth to me. Three hours in a Costco? Oh, no thanks. I don't even think I'm going to unload this tonight. I'll get the produce. I have Vanna and Papa coming tomorrow. It's Tuesday, so I'm going to relook at my list, see what I still need, milks and such, and then I'll grab that stuff tomorrow. Um, I ordered a bunch of stuff as well for our 1 million subscriber celebration. Uh, of course. I'm so excited for it. Uh, oh, we're, we're going to have to watch that. Now I'm too curious what's going on here. All month. How many people will be there? I'm going to remember all those sunny Ds. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to post it yet. I was going to post it Christmas Day, but I think I'm just going to be too busy. So I'll probably post it the day after Christmas. And then to grab one of those Gatorades and drink it on the way home. All right, I gotta show you how full this man is. Uh, Ashley, thank you so much for the super chat. She spent on groceries about what I make in a month. Damn. Well, she's expensing all this shit because it's all on camera, as gross as that is, right? Um, I just thought she said she's gonna leave all this stuff in her car overnight. Is it a good idea to leave, let's say, drinks in a place that's snowing? It's it's below zero if it's snowing. Isn't all that shit just going to freeze? And then is that a good thing if it freezes? I wouldn't leave that shit in the car. <laughs> all right. I got the bread and stuff here. The clothes here. <laughs> Look at this. That bread yeah. is squished to hell. Like she, oh, she even stacks the van badly. And I don't care how that sounds. Yeah, she had a lot of stuff to stack in there, but it's stacked badly. All the bread is all squished. It'll be fine in the truck, you think? I wouldn't leave that. Yeah, soda can explode. I don't think she bought any, but like something like, let's say, Sunny D and, and Gatorades and stuff. If that shit freezes, is it okay to like drink it when it's unfrozen again? I don't know. Yeah. Good though, but we made it home. Okay, here is the receipt. I am gonna get dinner going and the girls are just getting home from horseback riding and the boys are getting their hair cut right now because the barber is here. Thank you for coming to Costco with me. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time. Uh, I didn't like that at all. At least there was no kids in that video. It's it's like they it, this video makes you mad in a 
in a different way, right? It's not the interaction with the kids, except the way she insisted on saying N's name again is so stupid. I hate that she does that. But this is her spending addiction. It's so gross. The comments on this video that we read at the beginning of our react are, are bang on the money. None of these kids appreciate a thing. And that's so sad because what's going to happen when the YouTube ends and they're going to be expecting all this crap and all this just, just waste, you know, and it won't be there. It's going to be hard to teach kids to not expect that kind of crap again. And it's actually going to be hard for Alicia to calm the fuck down when it's over. She really needs to stop this or at least take up people on the, those comments. Okay. You wouldn't be able to make content out of taking your kids and volunteering a bit or giving your time or giving, just giving something, right? Fuck the content. Do it for them. Do it for their heads. It's uh, it, this is unrealistic. She acts like this will go on forever. I think a lot of people on YouTube, maybe they get used to making the money or something and they do think, or their, their heads get inflated by it and they think, oh, I'll be the exception to the rule. I'll last forever. It's a one in a million to last forever. If you made it on the internet or YouTube specifically, we all know that. And things come in waves. When this one's wave is over, all of those kids are going to feel it too. And that's not fair. Just saying. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, this was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoy doing these. So thanks so much for being here. Uh, I'm guessing the next one we do will probably be there preparing for Christmas or this, this freaking party that she's talking about. I don't know. As soon as she gives us that, I really want to watch the party. And I really want to watch their Christmas. The whole thing's going to be catered. At least we don't have to watch that mess of a cooking like they did on uh, Thanksgiving. So that should be fun for us. We will definitely take a look at those, all right? If our girl gives us anything interesting to work with later on. We'll be live again. All right. It's early in the day. Why the hell not? Uh, so y'all thanks again for being here. Enjoy the rest of your days. I hope I'll see you later. If not be safe, keep your masks on and uh, yeah, just enjoy guys. Be safe. Bye.